Reverse rate optimization is taking your current traffic that's already coming to the website and finding a way to make it convert at a higher rate through testing. It could be through A-B testing, which is testing two different things on the website and seeing which one produces a higher conversion rate, or it could be multivariate, where you test many different variables on the website and compare them all and see which one also performs the best. But it's always uh, optimizing the website for constant improvements. So you're trying to get better and higher conversion rates through constant testing, and it does not require more traffic than you currently have to the website, it's using the existing traffic. Yeah, so split testing is where you take a hypothesis that something different on the website will perform better than how it currently is. You take how the website currently is and call that the control, and then you make the one change, and that becomes a hypothesis. And the control would be A, the hypothesis could be B. And you serve 50% of your traffic coming to the website, either A or B. And then when you have a statistically significant amount of data, you can determine with a 95 or 99 degree percentage degree of confidence that one or the other is um, better. And so if you are able to prove that the test, the B, the hypothesis is better than the control, then you learn something new that could become a best practice. And if you learn that the control, or the A, was performed better, then you continue doing that and you'd find something else to test later. Yeah, this is really important because it's a great way to improve performance without a large investment. So if you currently have a conversion rate on a website, say of 5%, that's one in 20 people are performing an action, possibly making a purchase on the e-commerce website. If you could improve that conversion rate to 6 or 7%, um, that sounds like a very small increase, but it's really a 6% conversion rate over 5% is a 20% improvement. So you'd have 20% more gross sales or leads depending on uh, what the website is trying to produce. So it's a great way to improve your numbers and improve sales and overall revenue without making a large investment and without overhauling and changing everything you're currently doing. So um, if you're trying to achieve an outcome and both of those are your choices, uh, split testing would be the more cost effective choice. It may take a little longer because you have to get enough data to come to a conclusion in split testing um, to be able to make it actionable. But again, a hiring process is not a quick one either. So it is just a lot more uh, compared to buying for sure, it's a lot more cost effective and hiring also takes a lot of time for training and actually seeing if the person is the right fit. And with split testing, you're moving towards a result and you're not going to be investing that same amount of effort or uh, finances into the results you want. Some best practices actually can move across industry. So certain things like uh, what makes someone complete an action, like colors that are more actionable, that is um, comparable across industries. Uh, if you're working like at Amazon, uh, who is an e-commerce website, they came to the same conclusion that we did with our testing on what color bun should be. And we are working on trying to get leads for the education industry, and Amazon's trying to get e-commerce sales, and both have the same learning or same um, best practice came true. So there is a lot of crossover and you could compare a lot of other industries to this industry. What I recommend is you take it and you test it yourself as well to just prove that what has already been proven is true for this industry as well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just a really passionate about split testing because I feel it's probably First off, it's a really cost-effective way to do things, and also um, at Enrollment Resources, we believe in pursuing the truth, and split testing is a prime example of that. We're looking purely at data to try to prove truths, which is going to be how to improve a website, and when we come to a statistically significant conclusion that we could say with a high degree of confidence it performs better, then all of our clients get that benefit.